Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Haley Bennett, and I am a staff engineer at Intelligent Concrete, where we specialize in making concrete do the impossible. Today, I bring to you Concrete Resources 101, and I am so excited to share this with you because I think that this is something that can give you such a boost and such a head start in your career. So essentially what this video will be covering is different professional organizations that you can join and you can actually join for free when you're still a student. So definitely, um, definitely take advantage of that. I'm going to talk about kind of why I think that you should participate or get involved in these things and what you get out of it. So first of all, story time. Um, when I was still in college, I was a senior at Oklahoma State University and I was a member of American Concrete Pavement Association, or ACPA. And because of that fact, and I had an incredible mentor, um, I was actually able to speak at the ACPA annual conference while I was still in college. And while that was incredibly intimidating, and I often questioned um, whether or not I had the expertise or knowledge to share with these experts in the industry, um, it was such a great learning experience and something that I am continuing to use to, to push myself and to grow. Um, and I, I actually got to help people, which is so crazy. I think that um, sometimes when, when you're early on in your career or even maybe haven't started it yet, you doubt yourself. You doubt your, your knowledge and your expertise, but your opinion and your voice matters and the more involved you get in these things, the more you learn, the more you kind of get your foot in the door, you get opportunities. You There are so many benefits to, to joining these things um, that you might not realize at first glance. Yes, it is a time commitment. It can be um, depending on how involved you would like to be. But overall, I would say it is 10,000% worth it. Um, so let's go through a little bit a list of these different organizations that you can join and I will then tell you a little bit more about how you can get involved. So first is ACPA, like I mentioned, American Concrete Pavement Association, and they have all kinds of software packages, resources. They provide so much material to really help you your engineering journey and, and expand on your knowledge. Um, second is ASCE. I know for a fact that you can get a free student membership and that is something that I was pretty involved in in college as well and the doors at Open were just incredible. ASCE hosts annual conferences, workshops, classes, all, all kinds of stuff, um, tons of resources and it's a really great organization. And then there's ACI, American Concrete Institute, and ACI is just wonderful. I've unfortunately never been to an ACI conference, but I've heard incredible things. You can meet so many people there, really get your foot in the door. You can even kind of look at it as like a job fair maybe, um, to kind of see what you like, what you don't like, and where you would like to steer your future and your career. Um, another one is SEI, and that is Structural Engineering Institute, and that is actually run through ASCE. Now, I have no um, really knowledge or participation with this because I'm not in the structural side, but if I were even a hair interested, then I would join in a heartbeat because I would kind of get to learn as I go. It's not... I don't have to be committed to a full-time career in structural engineering. I can just kind of learn more about it, see who's involved, see what life is like as a structural engineer, essentially. Um, so yeah, great, great knowledge there. And then there's PCA, Portland Cement Association. The list really goes on and on. But why should you join? Well, really, I think the number one reason is so that you can learn from the experts. The people who head and run and organize and chair these organizations are so knowledgeable. And a lot of times they really want to help you. They want to share the concrete gospel and really essentially educate everyone so that we can make concrete that's stronger and last longer. Another reason is jobs and internships. This is a huge, huge one. Um, 
going to meetings regularly, even being in an email list with leaders in the industry, adding them on LinkedIn. Um, it really builds your network, which can be really hard to do when you're just getting out of college or while you're still in college. Another thing is that it kind of establishes you as a force in the industry, or at least a presence in the industry. I've seen firsthand how impressed the, the leaders in our industry are when young people, maybe just out of college or still in college, are passionate and interested in joining these organizations so that they can learn more and make themselves the best engineer that they can be. And then lastly, this might seem a little bit boring, but you can get updated on all the policies and standards that are changing. Um, as you know, our industry changes essentially every day and it can be hard to keep up with all the news, all the changes on policy or standards and why they're happening. Um, and if you're involved in these organizations, you can actually even have a say in what does get changed, what happens and what the future of concrete is. And then you might be asking, how do you sign up? And you can just go to their website. Almost every professional organization that I know of offers a free membership for students, which is so incredible. I wish I still had the opportunity to snatch them up. Um, so definitely be sure to do that. There is a wealth of resources and knowledge bound up in these organizations. And it would really be a shame for you to not fully embrace them and, and get everything you can out of them. So thanks so much for watching. Go join those organizations. Go concrete, be asphalt.